Hello everyone, hope everyone is doing well. Today we're going to learn what is economics. So what is the definition of economics? And we are also going to look at what is macroeconomics and what is microeconomics. We will define these two and then we will see what are the similarities and differences between these two branches of economics. So economics has actually emerged as a field when we were looking at how people allocate resources. So in a way, we know that human wants are unlimited, which means that we want more of goods and services. We want a bigger house, faster car, more consumption of other goods and services. So we just want more of all goods. However, we also know that the resources available to us is not in unlimited supply. Resources are limited, which means that we do not have unlimited supply of time or money or other resources like let's say oil or or food so then economics basically then tells us how do we meet our unlimited wants that we have with the limited resources available to us so in other words economics is telling us a more a formal definition of economics is going to be economics is the study of how we meet unlimited wants with the limited resources that we have and so this is a more formal definition of economics so unlimited wants you know we will have we always we want more now we cannot have more stuff so we have to prioritize because the resources that we have are limited in supply. So then from here we learn we can talk about the two broad definitions of economics. Microeconomics is it's the study of individual want individual firms decisions so basically microeconomics studies how individuals or firms decide what to do with the limited resources that they have. So one example of a microeconomic decision would be supposing I have $100 a week of money to spend. So basically, how do I spend this money so that I can get the most out of it. So what should I do with this hundred dollars? Should I buy groceries? Should I buy some food and go out to have so, like fun with my friends, go to the movies or go to a restaurant? What should I do with this hundred dollars? That would be a microeconomic decision. Firms also decide like that. Firms may decide like a firm may think about like how do firms decide what to produce? And how to produce. So these are microeconomics decisions. On the other hand, macroeconomics, it's the study of the economy as a whole. So it is talking about all the things that affect us as a whole, as a country, as a nation. So things like inflation, which is the general increase in prices, unemployment, which is basically joblessness amongst the people. How to make the nation richer? How do we get to produce more using fewer resources? And, and how do we make sure that every individual is able to lead a decent standard of living? And how to control the supply of money? Now, we may think that microeconomics and macroeconomics are very different, 
but they are related. Even though microeconomics is a study of individuals and firms, it's these individuals and firms collectively that affect the macroeconomy. So these two are related. They affect each other. So let's say one example we may think about is about how microeconomics and macroeconomics are related. Let's say that you are deciding to move to a new state. So a lot of people are moving to the southern states, and so you may be deciding, should I move to a state like Georgia or North Carolina or South Carolina and other southern states that there are? Now, this would be a microeconomic decision because you as an individual are deciding where should you move? Should you move in one of those states? So this is a microeconomic decision. However, let's say just like you, a lot of other people are considering the move to a, a southern state. So just like you, for example, in a state like Georgia, maybe about another 100,000 people are deciding to move. So once all these people move to Georgia, now the government has to think about all the other things. Well, now let's say 100,000 people moved to Georgia. Now the government has to, well, issue new permits to build more houses because we need more houses to house those new residents to Georgia. Um, government needs to build new roads to those new houses. Um, government needs to build new schools or expand the current schools. And then, of course, the government needs to then think about growing more food or bringing in more food to the state from other states and many other things. So these things then, our microeconomic decision, each of these movements, each of these, each individual moved to Georgia based on a, on a microeconomic decision. However, their collective uh, movement, so all of them moved moving to Georgia, led to the government creating all these other things, which all these are now, these are, Micro macroeconomic decisions. So this is how they are related to each other, even though they are, they are kind of distinct, but microeconomics does affect macroeconomics, and then macroeconomics also affects microeconomics. Hopefully this was helpful, and if you have any questions, you can write in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you, and I'll see you at a later video. Goodbye.